relax. Make yourself as comfortable as possible. And now... This is your sound souvenir. A continual source of entertainment, of education, of beauty. They've got chicken, uh, both baked and fried. Uh, there's fish. You, you, you said fish already, right? Did I say fish? Well, I think there was there was there may have been more than one kind of fish if you count the uh, the fried shrimp. Yeah. Uh, there's there's cooked vegetables, uh, s- sliced. There's lots of food. Sliced ham and roast beef. I get that. Macaroni and cheese. Uh, I think uh, hush puppies. I, I've, I understand the concept. I've, uh, mashed I've potatoes. Se- I've seen the places before similar to that. I, I understand. I got it. Two or three kinds of soups. Um, I mean, uh, a baked potato station. Well, it's, it sounds very nice. It does, and I am, I'm glad you had a good time. The butter and mar- margarine and, and shredded cheese, which you can't you can't get that everywhere. Um, you know, Roger, they leave that food out for hours at a time. You can't trust it because people are going through with the mitts all. They don't wash. They're poking things. You know, testing sauces with their pinky with their pinky fingers. I didn't. You you I, I, I ju- you got to stay away from those places. I didn't. And but next time you go, you bring a thermometer and you make sure that that uh, those hot plates are at the proper temperature. I will wager that they are not. Like that. Uh, there's a, a call um, on line three. A gentleman, I believe. Uh, there's some okay. He's what? got a problem with his with his ra- radio. There's some kind of interference on his radio. Is are, that? Are, have we started? Are we on? Yeah, actually, yeah, yes. And we have a call oh. um, with a, a gentleman. Uh, Armando says he's got a problem with his radio. Uh, he's got some some sort of interference. Is that right, sir? That's what it sounds like. I hear a lot of mariachi. What? Do, I don't understand what that is. What is that exactly? <laughs> Oh. oh, and and you want you want to you want to get rid of that? I would. Okay. What do you do? Uh, I'm in new construction, and uh, I, I'm doing one of those jobs that Americans won't do. Huh? I'm a I'm a plumber from five till nine. Oh, okay. So uh, what what exactly is the problem then? I have my radio on first, and I have the volume turned up to a moderate level, mm-hmm. and. Uh, like I say, I'm in new construction. I do housing. Yeah. And I have to uh, go and turn the radio down, and I have confrontations about it because. Well, uh, you you turned that you turned their radio down, and they don't get mad at you then. Well, I don't see too much reaction going on. Uh, they kind of disappear. <laughs> 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 All right. So uh, so turning your radio down fixes it then. I don't. No, I leave my I turn mine up. Why? So I can hear it. Oh. I don't get, I don't understand what. Well, then, yeah, that fixes it. You turn yours up, and then everything's okay. Then, right? The problem I see, and what I really like about it, is I won't have to listen to that Mexican music. Yeah, well, the, the mariachi. It's not for everybody. I I found there's some that I find very pleasant than others. That uh, with the you know the uh, what do you call it, Roger? That thing that um, boom 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 boom. You know that thing. The uh, the. T- tuba? Tuba, yeah. I don't care for that so much. But uh, the accordions I find lovely. I don't understand their language, and I don't understand their their way of life. Yeah. Well, thanks for the call. I'm not, Thank you. Bye. Okay. I'm not really sure what... I mean, he seemed... Um, he seemed upset about having the the interference on his radio... But he didn't really seem. I think we fixed that problem. I think I think we fixed that for him. It, it doesn't really. He, he's, all he's got to do is turn his radio up. Doesn't really seem like the problem was was the uh, the fact that he was having interference. It seems yeah. like he was more agitated by the the Mexican music, <sighs> which is well. Well, I, I kind of like some of it myself. I over at the at the place they have that. The, yeah.
think they were going to act. Roger, this this is my this is my dime. Is it not? Is it my dime? Mm. Mm. Yeah, and the, yes. you're spending an extensive amount of time promoting another establishment, which you know ten, tangentially is is competing with whiz bangs. I, I just don't think that that is probably the best thing business wise that I should be doing. You know, speaking of whiz bangs, let's let's talk about that. Why don't you do that? You can do that, Roger. You want you want to. Uh... You want me to just forget about the the buffet at Bixby's and no. just don't? Oh, I'm sorry. I won't. There's no more. There's no more talk of of Bixby's. What we'll do just then re- is uh, just go ahead and jump right into uh, what's what's happening at uh, at uh, Whizbangs at uh, Philip Phillips and Mountain downtown, where the fun never ends and the party's never ending. What's what's on Thank tap you, for this Thursday? this Thursday night? Whizbangs no. presents The Buck Stinks Here. Excuse me? The Buck Stinks Here. It's no. pretty pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the um The Buck Stinks, you get it? Cuz you know, buck. You mean like the dollar bills. Okay. It's a dollar. Dollar bill you use to enter. You you remember the stink, right? We're, Last week we had the thing with the the the, the, right. the fire trucks and the, the the clearing out of everybody and yes yes there is there is some kind of odd odor over there in that I can't really tell where it's coming. Did you from. know that ha- hazmat stands for hazardous materials? The guys the guys that came out they explained that to me. They were very nice. It's not a you know. It's not an acronym. No, acronym. it's a it hazmat. It's it's short for hazardous materials. And it turns out that you know we we figured out where the stink is coming from. You know everything's fine, and we're going to be open this Thursday night at Whizbangs. Oh, great! On the corner of Phillips and Mountain Street, and downtown. Uh, downtown, and uh, we'll be having the bug stinks here. And what we'll be doing is everybody through the door or doors open at nine. Uh, if you'd like to to place a wager. To guess what the stink is. I see. I see. So, so the stink, the the the, the odor is still there. Oh, oh, oh the odor's going to be there a while, as it turns out. Now, uh, the odor's not going anywhere, Roger. It's stinky. No, oh, it's 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 stinky. Uh, that doesn't. So, there's nothing you can do about it. No, no, not for the time being. Until that stuff dries out. So we we're, we're asking that people take a dollar bill. And uh, we'll we'll be providing folks with Sharpie pens. And you take a Sharpie and you write down on your dollar bill what you think, what your opinion is. What 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 do you think the stink is? So you write your stink on your buck and you write your name on it. And we'll take all those. We'll put them in a big bucket. Okay? Right. At the end of the night, we're going to start drawing dollar bills. And the first one, the first one that gets the stink correct, because I know what the stink is. They told me. You, you, okay. So I had to sign the forms that acknowledges. So you know what, what the takes source. Takes responsibility, what you the, know, f- for the, you know, the cleanup. What the source of the, of the, of the odor is. You, yeah. you know. Oh, wh- I know. Why it's. Oh. Well, Gla- Gladys knows too. I mean, she's partially at fault for this, oh. but, uh. I'll, I'll draw a dollar bill. The first one I picked that's got the stink right. Congratulations, winner. That whole bucket of dollar bills. We're going to set that aside, and we're going to give the winner a free drink at the bar. Congratulations to you this Thursday night. The buck stinks here at Whizbangs this Thursday night. So it should be a, should be a good good time. I'm I'm curious though. What um, so the winner then gets. Gets a free drink at the bar, yeah. and then the the bucket of do- dollar bills. We'll go ahead and turn those in, you know, with the with the night's receipts. Yeah, the bank takes those; it's not a problem. I found they don't mind so much, as long as you don't scribble too much. Yeah, that's another thing. Don't scribble too much. You know, don't write like the scientific name of what you think the stink is. Just write the common term for it on your dollar bill before you turn it in for the contest. And you know, get a free drink if you get it right. And whiz bangs. Uh, the so the they get the they get the free drink and that's That's a fine prize indeed at Whiz Bangs. This Thursday night, the buck stinks here at Whiz Bangs. <clears throat>
It's whiz bangs uh, at uh, F- Phillips and Mountain downtown, where the fun never ends and the parties never ending. With the Bucks stinks here. I gotta there. tell you, Roger, it's it's I, tough. I, I, you know, I I'm sorry. I I, I ad libbed right there, and I tried to because I see of, you when you're struggling. Work the the name of the of the contest into the slogan. Are you just bumbling around like that? Are you okay? Are you do you, do you do you are you all right? Yeah, no, I'm 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 fine. I'm just what why I was, don't why don't we take a phone call or something and then you can regroup. We can we can do that. I Get just your head together. What I was what I was what I was trying to explain is that I I, I sometimes I mean I'm trying to uh, develop a more of a an improvisational kind of uh, uh, yeah. flair. Yeah, and um, I'm telling you, those Toastmasters classes work wonders, Roger. You really should reconsider that. Well, I, I'm just, I just thought I would try to... I'd it sort made of, me the man that I am today, Toastmasters. Thought I'd, it did me a world of good. I don't mind public speaking at all now. Do it all the time. Let's start with a rhythm. Exclusive Baldwin Real Rhythm. At the touch of a finger, you select one of 16 of the most sophisticated and realistic drum patterns available today. Now, again at the touch of a finger, you add Fun Machine for a guitar, chord, and bass, and Fanfare remembers it all. How about a little fancy bass? At the touch of a finger, you can choose Fancy Fun Bass. It'll make you sound like a real pro. There is a call. There, yeah. Okay, good. There is a call. Excellent. Great. Fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what uh, the, next, the, the, the next caller has to say. Hello. Welcome. Okay, listen. The men... The men of America, the men. they're all, yeah, the men of America, they're yeah. all sissies and cowards. The men of America need to start watching Rocky Three, okay, the one with Mr. T, so they can get some anger inside, because right now, they're all singing La Cucaracha, and I don't like it. And you guys, you guys... Wait, wait, uh, ho- hold on, hold on a second, sweetheart. Are you, are you talking about me and Roger? Yep. What? Well, what do we do? You made this mess. You fix it. Okay? And that's an order right now. You got to do something. Go out into the streets and do something right now. Right now. Okay? Okay. I think I think actually you ha- you have done something to try to fix it with the uh the but the buck stinks here. Thanks for the call. Okay. All right. Thanks. I I'm not sure that's what she was referring to. And the the, the, cucar- the cucaracha maybe she was mad at the the previous caller with the with the with the mariachis and the Cucarachis. I, 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 I'm not quite certain, but I, I, I think that the buck, the buck stinks here is a great way to, uh, you know, to help solve the problem. Well, it's probably not going to solve any of it. I mean, we got to wait, you know, for that to air out. Oh. I mean, that it's like this oily stuff. It's got sulfur in it, and it's a place just stinks like, like sulfur, sulfur and oil. It's like an oily sulfuric kind of stink. And it's permeating. It's it's like into the into the floor. It's it's in the sheetrock. It's in the rafters in that whole corner there. So, so when you say this, the stink has kind of got a you know a, a, a sulfur kind of quality to it. Would that be a a hint for the contest that it you know if if you're trying to figure it out, maybe think think sulfur. Let's go to another call. Okay, uh, caller. Hello. Go ahead. Yes, hi. Uh, good morning, guys. Hello. I have a uh, beauty question for you. Oh, good, because hey. Roger's right here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, something about helping uh, gray hair. Oh, you're getting gray, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit, yes. Yeah, well, we've all been there. <laughs> I, I, go, I go to uh, a salon. As, uh, as they like to call it. You know what, Salon? Uh-huh. Yeah, and uh, I do the ebony chestnut. That's what they suggested for me. I do a little touch-up every three weeks or so. You know, you could do that. 
Uh-huh. Are you, if you, you know what? I got an idea. If you want to do it uh, yourself. Oh, okay. You could get some beef bouillon cubes and uh, you could uh, okay. smash them up with like a mortar and a pestle. And just, you know, crunch them up real good. And then you uh, take that. Uh-huh. <laughs> mix it with a little bit of acetone. Make it like a paste. And just smear that. All over your head. It's all over. Okay, so this is before you actually wet your hair and shower. No, no, no. You do this after you shower. Okay. Because showering's going to wash it off. You want to, you want to keep that on. Okay, great. Well, those are great news. All right, Mister Greyhead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for Bye-bye. the call. Bye bye. You, you just leave the uh, sort of the bullion granules in in your hair. Yeah, you got to you got to give the acetone you know time to take. So it doesn't really necessarily dye your hair. It just sort of, the the hair sort of holds the, the bouillon up. and well, uh, Kind of a, a, a quasi-pomade kind of thing. I, mean, I, don't, I don't do it so much anymore, but, you know, back in the college days, you know, when you're, you know, you're, you're saving your pennies and you're, you're eating your mac and sure. cheese every night. You sure. got to do everything you can when you're getting gray you, prematurely. You got to do things or else, you know, the ladies, they don't look at you quite as much. Bullion is very, uh, very reasonable at the store. You can get, um, you can get a jar full of those cubes. Uh, very, very inexpensive item. Yeah, that and, a- that acetone though, they don't sell that in the same area of the store. You're going to want to look over in the beauty section for that. Cast at gmail.com. You know what that is? Yeah. That's the email address. You ready for an email? I sure am. I'm prepared. I'm as ready as I'm going to get, I, I guess. Mr. Biggs, we've got an email here from a young gentleman who would like your assistance with a little situation that he's got at home. Right here. Was that part of the email? Was that it right there? Because I, I wasn't ready. Roger, come on. You've done this several times. I was, I was actually, I was just, uh, I was like a, a setup. I was just, you, you say Mr. Biggs, and then you start the email. I was just, but then you do all this other stuff, this crazy stuff, and you, you're that, looking at your paper, and I think, okay, this is the email. I'm trying to make sense of it, and I can't. I can't put it together lengthwise uh, here, here to, to New Jersey. I have no idea what you're saying. Uh, Talk like people, Roger. Okay, the email the email begins like this. Mr. Biggs, my older brother and I both want to use our parents' car this Friday night. Obviously, only one of us will be able to. To decide who gets to use the car, we're going to have a best two out of three match of rock, paper, scissors. And my question is, do you know of any successful strategies for winning at rock, paper, scissors? Should I always go with rock for the first match and then follow with scissors? Or no. is it is it best to start with paper and then follow with paper again? No. Now in, in case he goes on to say, in case it helps, my brother is about five foot nine and weighs a hundred forty pounds. This is from Abraham in uh, Rancho Sierra Vista. You got to realize that any one of those, at any given time, there's a, there's statistically speaking, there's a fifty percent chance that you're going to get any one of those combinations. Okay, so there's a fifty percent chance you're going to throw out a rock, a scissor, or a paper. Okay, now what you got to do is you got to use those statistics to your advantage. Okay, now you can statistically get an advantage. By getting the correct item to beat the item that your brother is going to be using. For example, Roger, let's do this. Ready? Hand out. One, two, three, rock. Right on top of you. Smash you good. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, rock. Smash you good. Okay, come on, Roger. Do do something different this time, all right? I've been... Ready? One, two, three, rock. I had... 
I had paper. You, uh, you, you, it was going to be scissors, though, Raj. I saw you. I saw your fingers come out. So technically, I win that one. So I won three, one, two, and three. You know, you okay. see, there was a fifty percent chance that Roger was going to throw out paper. I had, I had paper. paper yeah, for the last two, I had, I had scissors for the first, but, but paper, paper. For the no, second. you were going to do scissors. I saw that. I, I saw your your fingers come out. And you had rock, rock, rock. Yeah. I had scissors, paper, paper. So you just want to make sure you pick the right one when your brother, you know, throws his out. You got to be careful though. To make sure he doesn't try to change it at the last second like Roger probably did there. Hope that helps you out, Abram. Paper paper beats rock, right? Thanks for listening. Paper covers rock. That's how is that how the that's right, isn't it? I'm trying to work on it. I'm trying to bump into things more and wear, wear silly outfits. We've got a, we've got a call. We've got another call. Yeah. Excellent. Wonderful. I'm. Which line is that? That's two. That's okay. two. Okay, okay right. two. Hello, welcome, caller. Hi. Okay, my brother is really strange. I don't think he's ever been on a date with either a male or a female. Oh, he, is, that, is that normal? He, I don't know. Is he <laughs> fancy or something? I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> you should ask your mother, because moms know those kinds of things. I don't know. I ask my mom what my brother. I'll ask her. I'll go. Well, what's John doing these days? And and they live in in Colorado, so they they have a basement. And he goes, oh, he just. He reads a lot. He was on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. He he, he lives with your mother? <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Yes. No, that's that's horrible. <laughs> no. no. He did get on that, on the show, uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Because he reads a lot. Yeah, but he hasn't moved out of your mother's place yet, though. <laughs> no, not yet. But my sister and I are freaked out by it. You're guys who do not date, and they live with their mother. I mean, come on. And he, you said he's living in the basement, right? Yes. And yeah, my, now and if you, you, next thing you know, he's going to be wearing your mom's house coat, and he's going to be walking into McDonald's with an axe. And mm. bad things happen with guys. You keep your distance. You 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 said he was on that uh, millionaire show, right? No, no, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't have the fastest finger. I did. I, well, he, well, no I wonder. Did, no wonder he's spending all his time in the basement. I do. He, he needs to get out more. Oh, yeah, but this, he is. A, he has had security guard work. So that. Oh kind of, no, security <laughs> guard. Oh come on. So kind of, three what? three strikes <laughs> and you're out. Yeah, not dating is the least of your brother's problems. Maybe. Have a good day, and th- thanks for the call. <laughs> oh, boy, it's a good thing she called, because she had no idea. That is a serial killer in the making. I'm... That went by so fast. Roger, I... how, lo- how long did you live in your mother's basement? That was like two or three years, if I remember correctly. Well, what... Well, actually, it, it, it was it was for two years, but um, it wasn't really so much of a, a, a basement as it was... Uh, it was a split level job, and uh, and so she sort of occupied yeah. the, the you know the south Roger, wing, Roger, and you, I had the Roger. the north wing. The point is, you moved out. Well, yeah. I mean, granted, you know, you were pressured to move out. Well, that's not that's yeah. that's not you were exactly pressured to move out. Your mom, your mom had to ask you to move out, Roger. I don't understand why you're shying away from it now. But the point is that you did, yeah. and and you've you've avoided the stigma that that guy's got. That's crazy. Guy, it's not normal for a guy to be sitting in the apartment reading all the time, playing his, uh, playing the game shows. That's crazy. Well, mil- millionaire's pretty good. Millionaire's pretty good. I mean, it's not. It hasn't. It's it's sort of gone downhill since since uh, Regis left the show. It's not really quite the same with uh, what's the woman's name? Uh, yeah, the, the, Ma- they, they should not have ladies hosting. The millionaire show. I don't like that. I, I don't need. To, I don't need to be distracted by a a lady wearing, you know, you know the the sexy blouses and the pantsuits. Well, I'm trying to answer the questions. 
Not that I watch the show or anything. You, you, I mean, you know what I mean. Walk, you know, but when ladies do that, they, you know, wearing things to get your attention. Like, you know, like a, a lot of women wear the the push up, uh, push up brasiers now that really hoist and h- hike the bosoms upward, so they kind of yeah. spill out of the top of the. All the way over on the left side is line one, and that's the next call that's ready. Yeah. Hello, welcome. Yeah, guys. Hiya. Hi. Welcome to the show. Listen, uh, this is to all the women and girls out there who wear those new fashions now, you know, the low the low uh, pants and the high-cut tops so that they have these big midriffs showing. Yeah. They have no business doing so because they're fat. They let their bellies get big as jelly donuts. Mm. They jiggle like jelly donuts. They turn men off, and they ought to know it. They think it's sexy. Yeah, so somebody should tell them. They, that somebody should tell them that they should not wear that outside, because that's not attractive in public. No, it's. You, some, I mean, some women, uh, some of the you know the uh, younger fit women can can pull it off pretty well. But I think uh, it, look, it looks silly okay. when you're walking around uh, these ladies with you know they're walking around with wooden shoes, and uh, they got like. Eye patches. I mean, that stuff looks that looks silly, you know. I think so too. Yeah, eye patches are for pirates. Yeah, especially when they think it's sexy. It's yeah. a turn off. It is. It is a turn off. I like women who have good depth perception. Thank and thanks for the call, by the way. Thank you. Uh, de- so you can you do you know when when a woman's got good depth per- perception? Can I don't you- care for that look. You know, fashions take trends. And I don't care for the trend that's currently going on with the with the, the bottoms that say juicy and the wooden shoes. I don't get it. I don't understand. Have you got a wooden thingamabob or ornament in the house? A souvenir of a honeymoon in the tropics or a memento your husband picked up while overseas during the war years? Well, the next time you dust it, Why don't you pick it up and look at it carefully? If you treasure it, you may be in for a bad shock. And lady, let's stop talking about your souvenirs and furniture. What about you? Have you looked at your skin lately? You call your local heating equipment dealer and let him solve your humidity problems at no obligation whatsoever. The, uh... The Johnny Depp movie. Haven't. No, you're thinking of that other one. Haven't the seen that. One yet, with the, the guy. The guy with the. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know the one. The eye patch. That guy. That guy with the that the, thing on his teeth. The guy. The guy with the teeth has got the. Uh, yeah, he's got that thing around his uh, wrist. You know the. You know the fella. That. Uh, he says that uh, that stuff. Uh, what do you call it? Johnny Johnny Depp, yeah, that's Johnny Johnny Depp. He's the one that's uh, the, with the teeth, the thing, with the patch and the pirates. He's the guy. That's him. Could I uh, could I get a little bit, a little something here? I'm uh, I'm out. I'm fresh out. Wait, hold on. A little bit there in the bottom. There you go. Thank you. When did she start working here? When when did she start? I, I, I have I've not never, seen her before. I have. I. I. I yeah. I, I haven't seen her before either. I. I've not. Well, this will be her first opportunity to impress me, if she's able to come back with the proper coffee drink. Oh, look at that! You don't mind if I take this, do you? Let's take a second here. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll just. Uh... Bates. You can. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding? That's fantastic! Oh no! Wait, 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 wait! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! No, no, wait! Hold on! Listen! Ah, oh, come on! Don't do that to me! You know, you. <laughs> oh, that is, that is good. And that, no, that, no, I'm not. No, I don't mind at all. Big, Big's cast. That's at great. Gmail dot com is the uh, the email address if you have a question. I was do, we're doing that show thing. It's no big. It's no big. <laughs> yeah. 
question for... Oh, no, you're kidding. Mr. Biggs, just... Oh, that's that's great. Well, do me a favor. Put it in a baggie. Just seal it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got to see this. Okay. All right, tell him I said hi. <laughs> you know it. You know it. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, we'll put him on. Put him on. Let me talk to him. Hey, how's it going, Chief? Hey, <laughs> bitch, Biggs. Yeah. I know. Nobody told me that. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. It's, uh, I'm so sorry. When? We'll just get a, we got a, we got another call lined up, so we'll get to that in just a moment. How did it ha- How did it happen? Well, you know what they I know. You know they say about those things, they're generally not poisonous. They're hard to find poisons. Just hold on to it. Yeah. Armando, just just tell him we'll, we'll get Listen, she was an adventurer. She was an adve- she was a, a free spirit. We'll get right to it, or Armando. Okay. We're gonna get right to it. It'll just be a moment. Okay, listen, I'm gonna have to go because some people don't know how to be how to to be a polite when others are on the phone. Roger. Sorry. You're whispering. Sorry about sorry. Listen, I got to go. I'm sorry about your daughter. Okay. Bye now. Roger, what was that about? The, the man's daughter passed away. What? Well, I'm, oh, my. What? Yeah. Huh? Who? It's who? a snake bite, and she passed away, and you're making jokes. You're yucking it up in the background. That was very rude. I, I had... I. I, I was trying to um, let you know, make sure that people knew the uh, the email address and that. Uh, and um, I don't recall what that. Who whose daughter died? Who was that? What was that? Oh, it was uh, that was Mel's daughter. She uh, he's he's visiting in town. I hadn't haven't seen him in, in in like you know seven or eight years. His daughter died from a snake bite. Yeah. Well, that's horrible. Well, not really. I mean, when you think about it. I mean, you had to know her, I guess. Armando um, says that we have another call. Okay. Yeah. So let's uh, let's, let's welcome let's welcome the caller to the show. Caller, welcome to the show. Hello, and thank you for uh, taking my call. Yep. I got a question. I, I'm trying to find a replacement for brisket. I love brisket. I love smoked brisket. I cannot find brisket. What would be a replacement for brisket? Um, I guess uh, artificial brisket. I would think. I, but I, I don't even know if they make that. Where, where would you find something like that? Though? You tell me. I've checked out the uh, Albertsons and Ralph's Market. They have these small, the, what do you call that, a corned beef brisket type, but I don't want that. I want brisket. You want an artificial brisket. You got it. Yeah. Like a spam, maybe? What? Uh, well, I think maybe like a London broil would probably be a good, you know, step oh. in the right direction. Right, right. You, you know, like... Uh, what do you call that stuff? That flank steak. Oh, yeah. Yeah, flank steak. Because you want something instead of brisket. You got it. Yeah, exactly. You can, you know where to find flank steak, right? Yes. Okay. You throw that in the microwave for like eight or nine minutes. That's good, but I, I'm going to try to do it on a smoker. I love smoking. Well, you know what they say about smoking. Great. Thank you for the help. Okay. Thanks for calling. Bye-bye. Bye now. So that's, a, that's, a, uh, that's probably going to be a pretty decent... Uh, Replacement for brisket. I, I'm 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 a fan of brisket as well. I'm not sure flank steak is quite as good, but uh, another, another thing you could do, you can boil it, boiled, boiled London broil. You know, it's one letter, one little letter, it means an awful lot of, awful lot of goodness. Instead of London London broil, you're suggesting if done properly, London boil. If done properly, Roger. Mm, 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 good eats. So, so what do, what do they say about smokers? What? 
Well, you'd said you said to the caller, you Ooh. know, what, you know what they say about the the caller who called about the brisket. You said you said uh, you know what they say about smokers. Well, he he said he wanted to smoke it. That's what he said. I didn't say that, Roger. You know, you don't pay attention during the show. I'm finding it makes it difficult to keep things going in a in a straight line. Well, I think that uh, I think that's fine. And um, I think that uh, uh, Armando is uh, is letting me know that do we, I've lost track. We have a call left. Yeah. Is there one? Because I think I've. Yeah. Armando is is uh, wants us to go to the next call right away, and so we'll go okay. ahead. Okay. Well, let's let's say let's say hello to another caller. Hello. Um. Great show. Oh, thanks. Thank you. I have a question. Um. Sh- should I get a tummy tuck? A, t- a tummy tuck. Oh, jeez. That's that's a big question. Oh. That's a tough. I, I mean, especially when they're just on the phone, you can't really. Yeah. I mean, how can you tell, really? I, I'm going to go off on a limb here, and I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say yes. Your show is reinforcing what I need to do. So, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. That that wasn't hard at all. I thought it was going to be tough, but so guess, she she just wanted an answer. All you had to do, I guess, you just pick one answer and you just give that. I think she should. I think she should think it over a little bit. I don't think that she should. She should just waltz right in and get a a tummy tuck just like that. I think. I'm not sure what a tummy tuck is exactly. What what is that? She, I don't know. I. I've I've heard I I don't know if it's the same thing as the uh, the the thing they do with the where the gastric bypass I don't know if that's the same thing is that it I don't know you still you I don't I don't watch Animal Planet all that much you think you you think she should still get one or yeah I mean I said yeah already I should probably stick with it because Roger. Hey, Roger. Yeah. Roger, consistency is very important. You want to stay consistent. So I'm going to say, yeah, she should get she should get that. You don't want to you don't want to waffle. No. And you know what else would would be good? That coffee that I asked for. The girl. What is her name? Cuz I would like I, I would like to uh to direct some choice words in her direction. I didn't catch I didn't catch the name. I think that we should we should maybe mention the fact that uh, you've got a, a very exciting contest. Uh, oh, yeah. Re- repeat to the yeah, listeners the yeah. exciting contest at yeah, Whizbangs. Yeah, 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 this Thursday night at Whizbangs, this Thursday, the buck stinks here right. at Whizbangs. You know, we got that stink going on, and uh, some people, yeah, they, they probably don't, don't want to come in, but I'll tell you what, if you do... And tell us what the stink is. Write it down on a dollar bill. Throw it in the bucket. End of the night. If you got the stink correct, you get a free drink. And where's Banks this Thursday night? What if they what if what if they wrote their guess on like say a piece of paper, and then put that in? No, because the name of the contest is the Buck Stinks Here. You got to write what stinks on the buck, and then put that in the bucket. But get, they. You, did you get that part of it too? Did you you get that? You see? I was just I was see just, what we're doing. I w- I was just thinking because it's, it's the buck stinks here. We put him in a buck at. <laughs> I came up with that one. That one that one was mine. You have a special bucket called a buck at. Yeah, Gladys said that we should hyphenate it, but I didn't know what that meant. So I just wrote it really big on the side of the bucket. Bucket. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I mean, the reason I ask is because I was, I was just thinking if they don't, if if you're not giving, if they don't win the dollar bills, then there would be, would there be any need to use a dollar bill for the for the 
entry. Yeah, you gotta you gotta write it on the dollar bill. So if somebody were to try to Roger, turn in a Roger, guess, Roger, 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 don't give them any ideas. All right, you're making this very difficult. We try to stay focused. We need we try to stay on target, on message. Okay, we're trying to market things, consistency. All right, and you're throwing out all these other concepts, and you're screwing it up for me. All right. When I tell you the way the contest works, you know what? That's the way the contest works, okay? No more variations. The variation stinks here. That's uh, that's whiz bangs at Phillips and Mountain, downtown, where the party never ends and the... I'm seeing... Oh, good Lord, Roger. Got a little, got a little rattled right then. Let me uh, Let me try that again. That's... That's at Whizbanks, Phillips and Mountain. You know what? You know what, Roger? Don't even bother. Let's just move on. Bigscast at gmail. Bigscast at gmail dot com. You send that in, and it comes. Uh, it comes here to the show, and we can you know answer your questions. Here, here's an, here's the um, here's another email we got. Of, um, it goes like this. It says, Mister Biggs, here is Lotus Patel writing. Yeah. You have often wondered what to be like accomplishing with a larger pen fifteen. Looking to achieve long duration of effects. Help find relief and generous satisfaction from greatest pen 15. Better girth. And hardware enhancement. I don't know, I don't know what that means, but uh, I'm, I'm thinking uh, that he wants to know about this, this pen 15, which I'm guessing sounds is... Sounds like he wants, a, he wants a bigger pen. That's what he wants. He, he wants a bigger pen? Wants a big, well, he said he wants a larger pen and with bigger girth. So I'm guessing pen 15 so is get, like a, a model number or something. There's a you, website where you can order pens of all kinds. Would they have the? Would they have a a good big pen 15 for this guy? Well, I'm sure they they've got all kinds. You, uh, you got a computer over there, Roger? Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's www. dot pen island. dot com. Pen island. P- pen island. dot com. I think yeah, it was pen island. And they just had a fantastic selection of pens. It's been a while since I've been there, though. A good, uh, he should go there. Yeah, that's what I, I would recommend. Penisland.com. Oh, geez. Did I spell that right? Pen Island is P E N I S L A N D. P P E N I S. L A N D Pen Island dot com. They got like they got big pens, they got little pens, they got ink wells, they got pen refills, they got thick pens, they got they got they got thin, smooth pens. They, they got pens with rubberized grips so you can hold on to them. There's uh I don't I don't know I don't know if I'm spelling it right, so I'm gonna have to look at that later. I would recommend he go there. They probably have what he needs. They, uh, they might. Yeah, they might. You okay over there, big guy? Whiz, whiz, whiz. Yeah. Uh, whiz, whiz. I do believe, Roger, you are whiz, blushing. Whiz bangs at, uh, whiz bangs, um. You're shifting your weight back and forth in the sea. Whiz bangs. Um, I got lost my place. I'm pretty sure your upper lip is moist. It, what is happening? Are you okay? Phillips and Mountain. You're not going to pass out again, are you? I'm going to do it right this time. F- whiz bangs. Chuck, come in here. He's going to pass out again. Phillips and Mountain downtown, where the fun never ends and the party's never ending. There. That's what it is. You've got the buck stinks here on Thursday. Win, win a big bucket of... Win, win a free drink. Are you sure you went to the right website, Roger? 
I'm going to check after. I'm going to check. I'm going to check again later at home. Yeah, you do that. I get home. You do that, Roger. You do that. See if I can get a good pen. 15. Happy ending. P E N I S L A N D. When it comes to eye care, do you take a dim view of impersonal attention, pushy salespeople, and hidden costs? Well, at my office, we treat you a sight better. Hi, come see me for all your vision care needs. We pride ourselves on quality care, honest value, and great service. We offer a complete repair shop on site, a full selection of designer, sports, and safety eyewear, sunglasses, and all the latest in contact lenses. If you've been thinking of trying contact lenses, take advantage of our radio special. Get your first pair of contact lenses here and receive a free pair of sunglasses. Located in the village, we take Visa, MasterCard, Discover Card, and most insurances. Come see me. I care. That's a sight better. 